This is Lisa Marie, formerly known as Nails to the Hustle, and I want to welcome y'all to my crib. Hey you guys, so I wanted to show you all my full setup of my room. Now it's kind of junky, so please ignore this mess, but this is my full room. This is where I do nails. As you can see, we have a TV. I'm currently watching Queen of the South. Y'all know I love Queen of the South. Um, but this is my desk. Now this is not a normal nail desk, so that is why it's like, pretty small as far as these dimensions from here to here. Um, but other than that, it does what it's supposed to do. And yeah, so I have my ring light. I always set my ring light up right here next to the client so that it um, is not really in their way and I can just like bend it down while I'm doing nails over here. Um, I do have my storage containers. This has all my nail products. This one is full of like inventory and then this one is full of the things that I use. Um, this right here is just like what I use to prop their hands up and I'll take it over here and put it over here when needed. Um, and then we have supply. So right here in the first drawer, I have pretty much just supplies that I'm gonna need as soon as I start. So that's what I put at the first top and I use these little storage containers. They're super expensive now, you guys. But I got these storage containers from Walmart. This one is about $14, I think now. But these now are like $20 and this one is super old. I got this one forever ago and I actually um, bought that one for like $15, but now they're like 20 something dollars. So. This is what I use pretty much to store everything. I keep my barbicide and acrylic powder, alcohol, all that stuff on the floor near me. That is my monomer that I sell. Um, up here, I have little, ignore my teeth, y'all. I be taking my teeth out. Okay, let, let's skip on to that. But um, this is kind of dusty, super dusty, but I got this from Shein and I really, really love this. I really need another one, but I keep everything that I normally use on my clients, which is just like top coat, blooming gel, nail foil gel, um, dehydrator, primer, cuticle oil, my brushes, all that good stuff. This little fluffy brush. And yeah, the rest of this stuff is just more monomer, paper towels, barbicide. Um, always disinfect, you guys, always disinfect. And then my nail lamp, which I need another nail lamp. I need a rechargeable one that I don't have to hook these cords up to. But I usually keep my cords going this way like this. And I just reach it up. Sometimes I will put it on my side to face them. Like I'll have this plugged up over here and it will come over like that. So I do have a lot of outlets in my room. Um, I have another one right there. Sometimes I'll unplug that and have the cord. I do have an extension cord to reach over so that I can put this lamp right here facing them. So when they put their hands underneath, it just goes like that. So um, you can get these extension cords from Dollar Tree or, or Family Dollar. I think Family Dollar has them for about $3. Um, and that's what I use. Over here is more of my inventory stuff this is just like what i uh box everything in my stickers all that stuff all that jazz and then in here in these boxes i have my acrylic powders i have like my um little nail lamps that i give in my mystery boxes i just store like miscellaneous things in here so my paper towels my tissue paper when i'm boxing stuff things like that i got these bins from Hobby Lobby and I think I got I don't know if I just got four or five of them but um I'm guessing I just got four because I don't know where the other one is if it was five but you get four of these I think I got them for like $19 maybe maybe a little cheaper I'm really not sure but if you go to Walmart and get these they're super super expensive you guys I mean like 
extremely expensive so definitely try to get you some if you can from hobby lobby if you have not checked out my hobby lobby video i'll link that above um i haven't vacuumed the floor so please 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 ignore my floor i decided to just go ahead and record this before i really thoroughly clean my room but yeah you guys oh back to the storage so right here as you can see i have like um nail lamps i have so many nail lamps you guys like it's ridiculous i do plan on giving that one away in a giveaway very very soon but i have my gloves i have my dishes to soak to do soak offs i have my um what is it the thing that i never use <laughs> which is a dust collector i'm sorry i can't get it out dust collector and this is really just like things that um i store that i don't use too often but if i need it is right there and in here are pretty much like all the nail tips that i don't really use which you guys like look at this these are <laughs> i have so many nail tips like so many nail tips y'all and i don't use them quite often so i just put them in here for storage and then i have all my jewels and everything um i sorted everything like okay so you guys know when you go to when you shop on shein and you get these little packets or whatever i took everything that comes in these little packets and i put them all in little storage boxes so this oh that sucked but this is how i have all my stuff stored I have two of these with a whole bunch of nail charms and then I have some that just came in boxes already that I didn't have to restore. So that's what's in here. Pretty much just a whole bunch of um, nail charms and nail tips. And in this box, this is a Your Nail Lab box. That's where I keep all my glitters, um, all my little tiny glitters. I have, what else? I have some, um, uh foils in there and that's pretty much all i have in that box but it's a lot of oh and i have my all my nail stickers so all my nail stickers glitters and foils are in that box and then the last one which is like super packed in here i have um just my dip powders that i don't use a whole bunch of dip powders um this is another dip powder this is some pigment powder uh and in here i can't oh some poly gels and some more dip powder <laughs> so that's pretty much all i have in here underneath are like uh just stuff that i was using to make acrylic powders this is my storage case for my nail drill so i just keep that kind of for um storage area and then i have in this one this is all my inventory stuff so this is literally all my inventory is in here and that's where I store everything. Like all my foils are stored here. All of my little nail charms are stored here. My rhinestones, all of these are stored here. So yeah, you guys, that is what I keep in this drawer and over there. And then for this storage next to my desk, like something to access, this is how far everything is from me if that makes sense so not too far i don't have to go too far to reach anything when i am pulled up i just pull up y'all like my little these are from shein you guys these are from shein i love these slippers like i wear them all the time you guys so right here like i said i have my buffers i have my little um bibs to put down when i'm ready um, everything that I need to access super quickly when starting off, my sanding bands, my e-file tips. These are, I only have two to three packs of tips in here because those are the ones that I use most often. I have my files in here. So I do have my Tammy Taylor files. Um, I don't have any more panel files, but I'm going ahead and testing these out until, um, to see how they are because I haven't really used round files too often. And then I also have a acrylic powder drawer. Now, this acrylic powder drawer, 
is like real funky. I've gotten rid of like a lot of acrylic powders. I've um, given away a lot and I really need to stock up. But when I do stock up, I think I'm going to have to transfer all of these on a wall. So I'm thinking about putting a little floating shelf right there for all of my acrylic powders or I'm going to put it over here on this wall, which is, let me back up for you guys. So I'm thinking about putting them right here, maybe, and possibly right here. Now I do have this little sticky thing. So when people come over and they want to select a gel color or they want to select which acrylic color I have, then I do have all my swatch sticks put on a little tab. I, you can get these from Dollar Tree, you guys. Like they have them at Dollar Tree, but I did get this from Walmart. It's stu super sticky. It doesn't move at all. Um, it has a little pull tab if you wanna take it off at any point. But yeah, that's what I use. I'm probably gonna end up having to get another one when I start adding more acrylic powders because I feel like three to four should go on this. I would do three at the max and then start another one. So yeah, you guys, and then the other thing that I have is, okay, so let's just like kind of ignore how messy this drawer is. I did not organize this drawer just because everything was gonna fall over again anyway. But this right here are all my uh, nail polishes, all my gel polishes, all my, um, what else, hard gel and some of poly gel so that is what i keep in this drawer it's not full i really don't have that many polishes you guys i don't have that many gel polishes so that is why it's kind of empty i'm sure if i was not a beginner tech that this room would be filled with tons more and i would have to um put some floating shelves up to take up a little less space but as of right now this is what works for me and this is how I store everything. I also wanted to show you all, I have this little thing as well that I just keep my clippers in here. Um, just like brushes, little art brushes um, that I keep in there. And I really like have no use for this. I just kind of put stuff. These are things, you don't really necessarily need this, but these are things that I would probably I could probably put in here if I wanted to. I just have it separated. So I do not do that. Um, and yeah, so now we can go ahead and switch into the other video. Hey guys, so I have this tripod mount type thing that I got off of Amazon. I can't remember who I saw, um, who I saw uh have this i'm sorry about the background people are cutting grass while i'm trying to record this video but i got this tripod off of amazon i will link it in the description below if you are looking for something but it raises like this it comes all the way down you have a um a piece where you can rotate it you can rotate it back you can rotate it forward this piece rotates up side to side or forward back so you can kind of position it however you want to if you want the camera facing this way you can if you want the camera facing just straight over you can um if you need to face it this way for some odd reason you can but you just go ahead and you take your phone and you just simply prop it in here and it holds it in place so that is how you do it and then you can just tilt it this way if you want to get an angle to where it's going kind of down like this however i always film my videos straight like this so i film my videos so that you are seeing directly over top of what's happening or what i'm doing so that is my setup i always have my ring light completely full black full blast um as high as it can go and i have it like pretty much at this angle and it just shines the whole thing now some people do have these ring lights that come overhead like this. However, I feel like that's a little too much. And I already had this ring light from a long time ago where I did um, makeup. It's the newer ring light. So I will link that in the description box as well for you all if you're looking for one. I feel like this is a very, very good 
um, ring light because I've had it for four years and it still works perfectly fine. Nothing is wrong with it. It works just as it did when I first took it out the box four years ago. So yeah, you guys, that is pretty much all I have for you today. This is how I film. That's how I store everything. And yeah, it's pretty simple, you guys. Like if you want to start a YouTube channel, start it today. All you need, I will suggest that you get an iPhone 13. I film with an iPhone 13 and it's super simple. The quality, as you can hear, is super crisp and sound. Um, if you wanna get a little mic, I can go into detail about that. I did just purchase a mic, however, I have not used it yet. But yeah, you guys, other than that, I will see you on the next video. Bye.